Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. One foot is bigger than the other. Yes, I injured my foot in high school, and because it did not heal properly, it swells more often than it doesn't. God never judges me on it, so I'd appreciate it if you guys don't as well. So let's go ahead and get right into this video, honey. Well, hello there, darling. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Why? Because I know you'll love me. Anyways, I think we should go ahead and get into the top 10 tips that I have for how to walk in heels. Let's get started. I made this number one for a reason. Shoe inserts will help save you from a night of pain and anguish in the bottom of your feet when you're out and about just trying to have a good time and your heels are killing you. But I usually get the um, the ball of the uh, foot inserts instead of the entire foot insert because after a while it gets kind of irritating with a big lump of something sitting under my foot. But yeah, I got these from Walmart. They're less than $10. They are so comfortable and they help me last pretty much way longer than I would if I did not have them inside my shoes. So I definitely recommend some inserts. Basically, if you're used to wearing flats, you're gonna have to kind of get your feet and your muscles trained to working in heels and walking properly. So wedges can kind of help you ease into that. Uh, they usually have a platform that can um, allow your arch not to be as steep as if you're in any other kind of heel. And they're more stable for you to learn how to walk in before you get into another type of heel. Now, I don't know if I've heard anyone else talk about this, but this has been easy for me. When I first started trying to learn how to walk in heels, I started with a strappy sandal type heel versus like a pump because they're easier to learn to walk in for me because it adds like that support at your ankle so that whenever you lift and bend your foot like you would naturally do, your shoe follows. Instead of with a pump, it's kind of freelance. You gotta learn how to stay in the shoe, so it's easy to me. So we know walking in heels is all about the balance. So if you're not very comfortable in heels yet, you should definitely start in a wide heel versus a skinny heel because wide heels offer so much more support. If you can just look and see how the skinny heel jiggles easier than the wide heel does because it provides so much, so much more support. It's wider in the back and so it's more stable. It has that block heel and um, it just, it's just so much easier to walk in and balance in, just way easier. Okay, so let's talk about this lean. This lean is not appropriate. Don't let anyone tell you anything different. It is not okay. Okay, let's just try to practice not leaning, okay? If you feel the need to lean, try to rest your ankles by stretching them like so, um, bending them back and forth and contracting them in. You are a beautiful woman in these nice heels and you should not be leaning unless you're leaning on the Lord. Try to keep it straight. So I try to make it a habit of doing this. I try to not to lotion the bottom of my feet whenever I'm wearing any type of heel. It prevents my foot from sliding forward and if I'm wearing open toe shoes, my toes gripping at the floor like so. I know it's very uncomfortable, but um, if you ever run into a situation where you're sliding, try going to a bathroom and taking your feet out of your shoe, wiping the bottom of your foot with a napkin and the inside of your shoe and allow it to air dry a little bit so that the friction can get back in. Have a couple of stands on deck whenever your feet start to hurt. I know I lean on one leg and I start to bend back and forth one other foot um, to relieve the pressure on that foot and then I you know just shift my weight and um kind of get my ankles back together until I could get to a seat um, basically this kind of help you get through the day so practice on those so that you can know how to relieve the pressure in your muscles whenever you are standing about maybe at a party or so I 
would not wait until my feet hurt before I pop a squat and give my feet a break. Um, This can also prevent the lean that tends to happen (laughs) if you have been standing for too long and then just never gave your feet a break. Um, But yeah, uh, take a seat. It's okay. Take a seat. Even if your feet don't hurt, just give yourself a little break and then you can come back standing longer and stronger. So there's nothing wrong with having a seat for a little bit. Um, I'd rather have a seat when my feet don't hurt than have to hurry up and find a seat when my feet are just killing me. So go ahead and pop a squat, honey. It's fine. So I'm the one that doesn't want to look ratchet walking around whatever party barefoot. I will suffer through the hell and high water until I get to the car. And when I get to the car, I will retrieve the flats that I have in my back seat. Most likely they are these Nikes. Um, they are so perfect for if, especially if you have to get out and go around or do something, whatever, after you've worn your heels and you're just not, you're not going to make it. You <laughs> just keep you some flats in the car and just, you know, it's okay. Do not rush yourself. If you try these things and you just still don't feel so comfortable going out and about in heels, take your time and practice. Just practice, practice, practice. Walk around in the house with your heels on. Um, Just cook in your heels, clean in your heels. Just do whatever you can in your heels so that you can get used to it. And I promise you will definitely have it down packed in no time. We all didn't start out perfect. It takes a little time and you will definitely get it. So I hope you guys love this video. Um, If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post a video every Monday, so you can see me next Monday. Also, um, definitely share this so we can spread the knowledge and let these ladies know that we can all walk in these beautiful hills. Follow me on my social media accounts right here, and you guys have a blessed day.